Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com and in today's video I'll show you how to test your hearing using Adobe Audition. Now there is one other requirement that I recommend and that's a set of good quality headphones. The DT770 Pros from Bayer Dynamic have never let me down and I use them all the time for audio production. I'll put a link to them in the notes to this video. Now let's hop into Adobe Audition and test out my hearing. So here we have Adobe Audition ready to go. Just go into File, New, Audio File, or use the shortcut of course, and make sure your sample rate is at 96,000 hertz, not the standard 44,100. I explain why in yesterday's video, which I'll link to, about making a dog whistle. So there we go. Brand new file, then Effects, Generate Tones, and here you can see I've still got the preset for my dog whistle at 30,000 hertz all ready to go. Now in this case I'm going to sweep the frequencies, tick that box, and it will generate a tone that starts at a certain frequency and ends at another frequency you recommend. So here I'll put something rather bassy like 200 hertz, and then I'll hop over into the end tab and I'll put that right the way up at, let's put it up at 45,000 hertz, which of course is 25,000 hertz over what any human can hear, but right at the top of a dog's natural hearing range. Click OK. And there is your tone as a flat line. If you want to see it in pretty waveform view, uh, then just go to the spectral frequency display. There you go. You can see it's a rising curve. Now, when I go to the start of this and play it and then stop, you hear that? Uh, the playhead returns back to the very start. Well, in this case, we don't want that. We want the playhead to stop when we hit the spacebar key. So hit shift and X. It's a shortcut that I show in another video on my channel. And look what happens when I hit spacebar two times now. The playhead stops exactly at the point in which you hit the spacebar. Now the reason we're going to do this, it's so that you can test your hearing. You play the tone, you listen to it in those headphones, and it helps as well if you shut your eyes so you can focus just on the tone. And then when you can't hear the tone anymore, simply hit spacebar and have a look at the frequency that you've managed to reach. Should be around 20,000 hertz or 20k. So, let's test my hearing. And there we go. That's exactly the point where I can't hear a tone anymore. If I draw a line right the way across to the ruler at the right hand side, you'll see it hits around the 20k mark. And that's exactly how you test your hearing using Adobe Audition and a set of really good quality headphones, which I'll link to in the description to this video. Don't delete that beautiful tone you've generated, save it somewhere, and in tomorrow's tutorial, I'll show you how to do a really cool sound effect with it. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.